Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of November. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Typically my readings are love readings, but you know how that goes. Um, month of November, keep in mind that the timing, you know, it may not be right when you watch this. Maybe it's at the end of November, maybe it's the middle of November. Maybe this is reading isn't for you. I mean, who knows, right? This is for somebody, not everybody. But it is for the sign of Sagittarius. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know for the month of November? justice yay but there's some conflict here there's some power struggles you may be going back and forth in regards to a situation you could be conflict conflicted internally or you could be struggling with another person a lot of back and forth right but something is going to turn out in your favor by the looks of things you're going to get something out of this, something that you deserve because you keep, you remain strong and you, it looks like there's a lot of confidence here. You are dealing with somebody, you really are, somebody is like messing with you, Sagittarius. Somebody is absolutely messing with you. It's like they want to keep you down, but that ain't going to be easy. You're going to win. You're going to win this, this game that somebody's playing with you. Somebody is absolutely trying to bring you down. They may be jealous of you. They're trying to keep you, you know, they're trying to disturb your peace, right? Interesting. It's like somebody doesn't want that veil to be lifted, right? They don't want you to see the truth about a situation. We got a mask here and a mask here. Somebody doesn't want you to see the truth, but you already know the truth of this situation. You may have been in denial over a situation, but you know, you know what this is. Mm, yeah. It's like you guys are finding the strength to stand up for yourselves. You could be dealing with somebody who really doesn't like it. So just saying. Oh my gosh, you guys have taken back your power. And you do have a, a competitor that is jealous of you. You definitely have somebody that is very jealous of you. Could be a sister. Could be be a co-worker, could be a mother. It's definitely a woman. Could be a Libra, could be a Libra, could be uh, Gemini, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, that's what I see. Could be any other sign, but that's pretty prominent here. You're dealing with somebody who does not want to you to succeed for some reason, or they don't want you to find the balance and peace that you so much deserve. Isn't that fucking wonderful. Excuse my language. I shouldn't be swearing. I know. Can't control myself sometimes. Um, oops. Went too far. I did go too far. And somebody else is going too far too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a, a completion here, right? There's an ending. Because you guys, you take back your power. You free yourself. You liberate yourself in this situation. You may even end up speaking up for yourself. And this person is thrown aback that you are speaking up for yourself in a very aggressive way. But you have to be aggressive because they're being aggressive. This person is testing your strength and they're testing your courage and they're testing your willpower. And they were about to find out that you do have all of that. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like you have the power. 
and you are bringing victory and success to your life because you're taking action against this jealous individual. I feel like you may have a man in the mix that is around you that may be offering you some sort of guidance, some help, some some sort of um, emotional support. So you do have somebody that is offering you emotional support. Could be a man, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person um, does have good intentions for you. Uh, and there could be a new beginning with this person. This person might even lead to something more. But whoever this person is, you do have some help from somebody that is on your side and sees your strength and they see your beauty and they see your worth and they see that you're strong. And so they may be helping you to find your power. But either way, you are finding your power. You're taking back your power. I see a transformation here. You probably went through a dark night of the soul moment or some sort of dark period but I see you coming out of it on top I see that you are like rising up you're rising and going through some sort of transition transformation but you do have somebody that isn't happy about it so beware um I think that you probably have to make a difficult decision somebody may need to be cut out of your life you're dealing with somebody who is very negative very, very negative, very brash, hasty, aggressive, and it's bringing you down. It's a constant struggle with this person. And you're like, man, I just want peace and harmony. I, I don't need this shit in my life. And you're being tested. You are absolutely being tested. You may want things to just, you're, you're hoping things are going to die down, but this person will not let up. And I think that you have found your focus. Maybe you have learned a few things. I think that you have begun to rise again. Like I said, I think you've and take charge of your own life. It's like, you know, I'm going to go in a different direction. I think that you guys are working harder than, than before. Not that you weren't, but I'm just saying that you guys are putting in a lot of effort. Um... To bring success to your life, you are. It's like you guys are working really, really, really hard to release something. Because death is release. And transform. You guys are going through a transformation. That's the overall outcome. You are. You're going through a transformation. And I think you have help from somebody. It's a man. Could be any sign. But with strong water in his chart. Ooh. Yeah, there's extremes here. There's extremes. And you may be feeling the extremes. Because when you're going through a transformation, a transition, it can be uncomfortable. It can be uncomfortable. You may be feeling a little uncomfortable in your own skin as you're transforming. You know? It's like you are you are going through some sort of awakening of some sort. You are. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And you may be a little uncomfortable with it. And that's okay. That's normal. That is normal. Whatever is happening is bringing you, bringing you together with somebody. You have a new connection by the looks of things. Or you have a divine connection. And maybe you are... We're losing hope in that, losing faith in having a connection with somebody. But it looks like you do have a partnership on the horizon. But you do have to make a decision. Are you ready for this? Do you want this? And you may be on the fence about it. You know, you may be. You may be like, you know, I'm not sure about this. But there is an opportunity for uh, a new connection by the looks of things. But like I said, you're on the fence about it. You might not want it. You might be like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not stable right where I'm at. Maybe you're working on everything but love at this time. And all of a sudden, love shows up and you're like, okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I'm not feeling stable. Now, the Ace of Pentacles reversed is lack of planning. Maybe you didn't plan on falling in love right now. You didn't plan on this partnership. You didn't plan on this. You're, you, you weren't planning on it. But you got this person here who, who has love to offer. So I think that you're getting an unexpected offer of love. And you weren't really planning on it. You've been working on your confidence and your strength. 
during this time, and you are probably probably grown, grown weary. You probably have grown gotten to the point where you maybe you've given up on finding love. I'm going to work on everything but love at this time. You may be a little guarded even against love, but I do believe that you do have an opportunity. Somebody is offering you something. They want to have a start with you. And you may be like, you don't want to let up, give up any of your control. You know, right now, you don't want to give up your control. You may think, feel like things are out of control in your life and you just don't have time for this. You may feel like the time isn't right, you know. This time, the time, it's not right. The time isn't right for this. So you may feel like this is bad timing. You just want to be alone and work on your independence. You want to work on your money. You want to work on your home. You want to work, you right now, you're single and you like it. It's like, I'm grateful for all that I have. I wasn't planning on this. I'm working on my abundance. And now somebody is, has something to offer you. And I have to tell you, if you've been struggling financially, your finances could be improving. Somebody, you could be even getting an inheritance of some sort. Some money should be coming in that's unexpected. Um, maybe it's a pay raise or a bonus or something like that. Some, some sort of money is coming in and it's going to bring balance and harmony to your life, okay? So if you've been struggling for money, your finances are going to get better. Looks like you, uh, with this three of wands, you mean, like I said, you're not prepared for this partnership. You're not. You know, you're, you're working on everything but love right now and all of a sudden there's this new connection or there's somebody that has been on your side that wants a little bit more and it looks like you're not quite prepared for it but somebody's charging in somebody is coming after you hot and heavy somebody wants you Sagittarius but you don't want no disasters you don't want, you don't want to build no false foundation if you're not ready right you're like ah no I'm not stable. I'm not stable right now. I don't feel stable. So whoever's charging in might get a rude awakening because you might reject them because you're like, you know what, I'm, this isn't the right time. Yeah, you probably lost some faith. Like I said, this isn't the right time. This is, you, this is, you're feeling like this isn't the right time. And, and maybe you're feeling it like it isn't the right time just because you've lost faith. You're discouraged. But you really need to hold your head up high and have confidence. You've made a lot of progress. You're going, yes, you are going through a transformation. And you are bringing back balance and harmony to your life. I think that right now you're, you are reevaluating things and you are, things are getting better probably pretty rapidly, especially in the financial arena. In all areas, actually. I think in all areas of your life, things are getting better, but you're still feeling like there's a lack of inspiration and a lack of hope. You may feeling like because of what you went through with that Ten of Swords down there, what you've went through, you probably lack faith and hope in, in partnership and love, you know? And whether this is a work partnership or a relationship relationship, you know, love relationship, it's like you do have an, a new connection here, a new partnership in which you probably feel like, I can't, I can't give to this right now. And that is the noble thing to do. And I think that's what you're doing. I think you are acting very nobly. But somebody wants you and they are not going to probably take no for an answer. It looks to me like somebody is absolutely heading in your direction. And they don't. They probably don't care if you're shaky. You know, they... they they, they don't want you to... to take a break anymore you know what I mean they want you to come out and play somebody somebody wants you to liven up but I think that you're not in a state of 
readiness. You know what I mean? It's like I'm not ready. I'm still working on my internal happiness. You may not feel like you're healthy enough or you're just not, you're just not ready. And that's reality, right? You're accept seeing the reality of this situation. I think that you're being very, very real. You're not confused about any of this. Right now, you don't want to lie to anybody and there's obstacles in the way. And you're working on yourself. Now, you may still have some anxiety about love or about partnerships. You still may be worried about it. You may be like, you know what, I don't, I don't know, I'm not I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, you guys are in your emotions. You're not ready for love right now. It's like you may have closed yourself off emotionally to love because right now you feel uh, unstable. Unstable, perhaps financially or at home or monetarily or whatever. But I have to tell you that your stability is probably coming back. Justice is going to be served. You, you're probably receiving some sort of... It could be an inheritance or something goes in your favor legally or something like that. You're, you're getting the justice that you deserve, especially with the Justice card and the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You, something is about to turn out in your favor, and I think it's in more areas than one. It's gonna pro it's, Somebody is probably asking you to come out of this period of... Hiding even. Now this is a rude awakening. Somebody's coming in. With, see this shit, okay? Somebody is coming in to shake up your life. And it is shaking up your life. You're probably in defensive mode. You're probably like, ah, back up, back up, back up. You're, you're like, I'm not sure about this. So you definitely have somebody who wants you. There's no doubt about it. And you're like, you need feel like you need to defend yourself. You're not ready. It's like, you know what? I'm not ready to go out and have fun. I'm not ready to go out and celebrate. Right now, I don't feel like celebrating. I don't feel like... falling in love right now what the f what is this yeah it's like you lack the energy the passion the ambition the drive to go out and play i just don't want i'm working on everything but this right now i'm going through a transformation thank you very much rebirth I just want to be happy. Right now I can't accept any offers of love because I'm dealing with my own losses. I'm dealing with my own pain. I'm dealing with my own hurt. It's the three of cups, whatever. You can't see that there's an opportunity. You are being offered an opportunity for love, but you probably don't want it. That's what it looks like to me. It's like you're probably turning down an opportunity for love because you're going through a transformation. You're going through massive change right now and love is not on the agenda. That's what it looks like to me. And when that's the way it goes, right? When you decide that you don't want it, that's when it shows up. I don't have nothing to prove to you. That's what you're saying. I don't have nothing to prove. I just want my happiness. I don't want to have to prove myself to anybody at this time. And I think that right now you're working on your stability, you're working on your money, you're working on your job, you're working on becoming stable again. Um, and there's really nothing wrong with that in this circumstance. Other people may think that, you know, you don't need to do that, but you do. You do. It's like right now I have to work on my stability. And you may be obsessed with recovering the financial loss that you have endured. You know what I mean? Maybe you've, you've went through some sort of financial hurdles. And right now, that's all you can think about. Yes, there's been a financial loss. 
that has caused you some dissatisfaction and you're trying to recover. And therefore, you are, have made a solid decision, a firm decision to stand in your power and focus on one thing at a time. So I feel like there is an opportunity. Somebody is offering you some sort of love, but you're not having it. It looks like you're not having it. Right now, I just want my freedom. I want my stability. I want my peace. I want to go through this transformation. I'm healing. I don't I don't want to go out and play right now. I am working on me. You may feel overly emotional at this time. You may feel like you can't give your heart away right now because you're also dealing with another person that is jealous of you. They're bringing you down. You're in the process of cutting that person out of your life. Um... But it looks like justice is going to be served in your favor. You're getting what you deserve financially because you're working hard. You're putting in a lot of effort to rise back up from whatever loss this is that you've had or that you're going through. Um, but there is an opportunity for love if you want it. Endings bring new beginnings. You're going through a major transformation right now. In the end, you are going to find that divine partnership. But I think that right now, you're like, no, not right now. Right now I'm in recovery. I'm in recovery mode. And I need to focus on my stability, my security, and my money. Let's get one of these. I do apologize that the heater came on. But it's like 35 degrees here, so I'm not turning it off. Um, that fits you. It's amazing. That's that's here for yours. It was here for the daily vibe, but it's perfect that I'm doing yours right now because that's a message for you. Don't just be kind to others. Be kind to yourself. And I think that's exactly what you're doing right now. And that is absolutely the right move. Daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. You guys are rising up from a difficult time and you are going to see an increase in money by the looks of things because of your hard work. So be prepared to get what you deserve in a good way. A good way. I don't see, I see that there's an opportunity for love here if you want it. But it looks to me like you guys may be like, not right now. Not right now, maybe in the future. That's what I see. Wish you the best. Stay tuned for the weeklies. I'm going to start doing the weeklies again.